The focus of this video is the principle of unity. Watch all the videos in this series about the principles of design. Find related printable sketchbook pages on my website. Links are provided in the description below. Start by watching an overview of the elements and principles of design. In summary, elements of design are the basic building blocks for artwork. Principles of design are methods that can be applied to each of the elements. Opinions will differ about which items should be included as elements and principles of design. You will find varying lists. It is more important to understand and focus on how they are defined and used. Let's take a look at how Charles Edenshaw used elements and principles of design in his traditional Haida carving. The artist balanced the shapes with formal, symmetrical balance. He used harmonious, rounded shapes that are similar. The artist used harmonious colors. Let's take a look at how Edgar Degas used elements and principles of design in his painting of ballet dancers. The artist used a variety of rich textures everywhere. We can see different textures used for the skin tones, the spaces between the hands and the feet, the dresses, and the background figures. The repeating shapes of the dancers create a visual rhythm. Let's take a closer look at the principle of unity. Unity is the coherence of a work of art that gives the viewer the feeling that all the parts of the artwork are working together. As I explained in an earlier video, the principle of unity can be compared to singers who are all singing the same notes at the same time as they sing one song together. The principle of unity is similar to the principle of harmony. Harmony is also used to give coherence to a work of art. However, coherence is achieved by using elements that are similar and compatible rather than elements that are the same. Like singers who are all singing the same song, but with different blending musical notes. Let's focus on the principle of unity. We can have unity with shapes, unity with forms, unity with colors, unity with lines, unity with textures, and unity with spaces. Repeating shapes are used to create a feeling of unity in this mosaic in the Alhambra, Spain. The same two-dimensional shapes are repeated throughout the artwork. The Alhambra is a highly decorated historical site. Repeating forms are used to create a feeling of unity in this relief design. The same three-dimensional forms are repeated throughout the artwork. It is also located in the Alhambra, Spain. The creators of Delft Blue Ceramics in the Netherlands used color to create a feeling of unity. The same monochromatic blue colors are repeated throughout. Keith Haring used lines to create unity. The lines are the same color, the same width, and used consistently throughout his artwork. Ken Danby used texture to create unity. In this highly realistic painting, the artist used the same texture consistently everywhere, resulting in a feeling of unity. Andy Warhol used space to create unity. His soup cans are repeated with the same spacing throughout his artwork. The artist created a feeling of infinite repetition. Was Andy Warhol making a comment about consumerism? Let's try it. 
Print the sketchbook activity page provided. A summary of the principle of unity is given. Also, print the worksheet provided. Create a feeling of unity in each of the four spaces on the worksheet provided. Repeat the same element of design, lines, shapes, textures, and colors. In the first space, I repeated the same straight pencil lines. In the second space, I repeated the same circular shapes. In the third space, I repeated the same scribbly texture. In the last space, I repeated the same blue color. What different ideas do you have? Share your ideas with your friends. This is an important part of creativity. Choose any two paintings and describe how the artist achieved unity in each one. Consider the elements of design, especially color, shape, line, and texture. If you were to move an object from one painting to another, would there still be unity? Or would the moved object look out of place? Defend your answer. Add the information page and your artwork to your sketchbook. Add any additional comments. I'll see you back here soon with more art activities.